because the NDC have since last week set in motion a malicious scheme fueled by lies, falsehoods, misrepresentations, blackmail, and needless pollution of the mass media with the sole intention of obstructing the course of justice and scandalizing the criminal proceedings in the High Court, all in the bid to shield a to forcing MP, minority leader in Parliament, and former Deputy Minister of Finance, and his associates from taking responsibility for authorizing some payments which resulted in a whooping sum of 3.27 million euros lost by the state, monies that belong to us all as Ghanaians. It is no secret that the NDC ever, ever since the commencement of Atu Forcing's prosecution has threatened rain and storm against government. The Attorney General and any person they can find to cajole the Attorney General from discontinuing the prosecution. What at all do the NDC want from this young man? The youngest Attorney General the country has ever produced. The latest allegation by Richard Japa the third accused and an associate of KSLA 2 forcing in this botched ambulance transaction procurement is therefore only a further ploy contrived to curtail the prosecution of Atu forcing and smear the Attorney General's integrity and reputation. But this, I can assure you, will not work. It is unacceptable that Johnson Asiedun Ketia will run a commentary over the alleged tip calculated to prevent Ghanaians and discerning people as such from making their own deductions and reasoned judgment. Even in respect of what was played, it is apparent that there are repetitions, overlaps, incoherence, voiceover, and distortions, demonstrating that the NDC has spent these past days distorting whatever tape they played.